Hey, hey, yo, you mechanical maniacs, here's Quasar here. Welcome back to Quasar's Customs. As promised, today I will show you how to install the Quality of Life mod from Nexus Mods. Now, as you know from all of my videos from, from 2018 on, um, I've never actually displayed anything on screen that wasn't available in the Steam Workshop always been kind of straight about it um only took mods from steam because i just didn't want to screw the game up and i've always played it that way um until the quality of life mod came along now i have to thank matt moore for showing me uh, through the facebook page and just on sidebar just how much this mod really changes the game it really uh takes it to a whole new level um, between Matt and Ryan over at RPM Games showed me a lot with this. So I will show you how to install it. And I'll show you some of the ins and outs of it. Show you what can you, some of the things you can do with it. And I will tell you I don't know everything in it. Um, I have been playing around with it. And I will try to show you everything that I, that I um, know that I can play with and I deal with. And I would like to have in the game. So I kind of play around with it myself, but um, it's very, it's highly configurable, so you can do what you want to with it, just about. All right, so let's get started, shall we? All right, first of all, thanks for hanging with me, and uh, from here, let's go over to um, Nexus Mods. All right, we are at Nexus Mods. Now, if you look at the address up there, it's nexusmods.com backslash Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. It'll take you right into the uh, CMS 2021 mods on Nexus. Right? Reminder for you all that you must have an account with Nexus to get in and see these mods. You just can't go to the website and download them. You have to make an account with them, and then you can download the mod. From here, what I would suggest is going through pop, to going to uh, popular all time, and then find right here. It shows I've downloaded it because I have downloaded it on my laptop, and now I'm going to download it onto my desktop, just to show you guys how this is done. So this is the, going to be the first time I've done it on this on the desktop. So right here, this is by uh, Meds IQ. So this is the. Uh, Download, this is the uh, quality of life mod that you want, is this one right here. Go ahead and click on that, and it opens it up. And it really breaks it down for you right here. It tells you uh, pretty much what you can do with this mod, or what can be done. You get an extra five spots in front of your garage. Uh, you get authentic car brand logos and logos and names, multiple cars on photo locations. Um, you can mark body parts, uh, unmarked uh, finished parts as you install them. Uh, part is removed from the shop list when you buy an item. That's awesome. I'll show you that too. Uh, part selection screen defaults to previously mounted part for customer car. You can paint and chrome any part. And I'll say, yeah, you can paint and chrome just about any part. But there's there's some... There, there's some, um, there's some restrictions there, so I'll show you some of that. Um, but there's a whole list of things in here that um, you can read about. And you'll see whether or not you want this or not. Um, two things: one, you have the melon loader down here that needs to be installed first. So, and then you have the download zip from the download zip files page. So what we're going to do is we're going to one going to install the melon loader okay with the melon loader you want to do the automated install here melon loader right there we'll go ahead and do the install of course my norton is thinking everything's going wrong um now you want to select your game you want to select the version which is the latest version uh game architecture you want to make sure that's an auto detect unity game is where you need to go find your your execution file so whatever drive you have it on, Steam, uh, Steam Apps, Common, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, right there is your 
execution file. Once you have that, you can run the install. So now Melon Loader will install this into the game. And what it will do is it will create a mods folder in that same folder area where the execution file is. It tells me the install was successful. That is awesome. All right, we will go back to the Nexus mods. And the next thing you want to do is download the zip file um, from the files page. So if you got up here and you wanted to do, um, you want to do the manual download for this right here, right? Hit manual download, or you could have done the, the um, link down below. Down, slow download, it doesn't really matter to me. It just, it's all good. All right, download started and it doesn't really take that long and it is done. What you wanna do is open that bad boy up and this is the zip file. Now you can unzip it to a folder or if you are having, if your system's much like mine, what you can do is once you've taken a look at it, you can actually just shift and copy both those files, right? Um, go back into your Steam, Steam apps, common, common case similar 2021, and right there is your mods folder. Open up the mods folder, you see that it's empty. We're going to paste those two. Well, I was going to paste those two in there. Oh, there we go. We're going to paste those two files right into there. There you go. Now we are all set to go. Um, if we look into the QOL folder here, um, you do have a README file. You can go ahead and open that up and take a look through there and read through some of the stuff that he has in there. He's actually done a really good job of this. Um, so please take your time and take a look through all this, and you will understand after we open it how this has just made the game so much better. All right. We've downloaded, we've installed the mod loader, melon loader, I'm sorry. We've installed the melon loader. We've installed the mod game file, the mod files. So now we're gonna jump into the game. First time launching the game, you'll see this window pop up. It's an open beta. Melon loader will open up. And what it's doing is going to start building the files right now. So the first time you're loading the game up from, from adding these files, um, it's going to go through mental loader and then load these files from the QOL mod. And then it's going to launch the game. Now, the way the game, the way the config is for the game right now, what it's going to do is going to skip over the intro and it's going to skip over the part where it says to enter, right? just rolls it right through. So you're not sitting here hitting the escape button every time it comes up. And you see when this screen comes up, you have to use enter to get into the game. Not anymore. It automatically throws you right into it and hits enter for you. All right, so we are back in the game. Doesn't look like uh, anything different, huh? Well, let's take a look outside. Oh, holy crap, we have cars. So we have a car over there. We have a couple of cars back here. A couple of them over here in the parking spot. Well, hallelujah. We have actually got the quality of life mod working. So, and it also it's up here in the sign. So what you have here, this is my, this is my uh, game save for all my configs that I've done. Um, just messing around and make tweaking them out. So this is my 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 save file for all my configs that I've been messing around with. This is the latest one right here. Um, it's got that big big sucking V12 in it, boy. There you go. All right. So that's mainly what it is. So the car is parked out front. Where they come from? They come from your your parking. They actually come from your first five spots in your parking. So let's say um, I did not want to have, um, I didn't want the, the C3 Corvette out there. Now, as you can tell, this is the C3 Corvette is that blue, that was that light blue one out there. And we have in this, the uh, car names and car logos mod 
um, activated in this as well. So that's why it says Chevrolet Nova, um, Chevrolet Corvette, Chevrolet Impala. That's why those are in there. Okay. But we'll we'll take a look at that later because I'm gonna I'm gonna change that because I want to keep it um, back to some of the car configurations, and I'll tell you why later. So if you wanted to change this, right? I'll take a look around here. We've got a Camaro Z28. I say, okay, I want that one. We'll go down here to swap. And then I want to change it with the uh, Corvette that's out there, right? So I'll just say swap cars. Now those cars are swapped in this parking area, right? Right there it is. And if we go outside, there she is right there. That is my screaming demon right there. All right. So that's how you would change the cars around, right? Okay. So that's one thing that's that's it comes with the mod, which that in itself is pretty cool. Um, the engine, um, engine hoist is no longer over here. The engine hoist is over here where it belongs, and it actually, yes, it does work. So that's cool. Uh, with this mod as well, let's see what can we do. Um, let's see, can we can we have a? If this thing has brakes on it let's um let's move you uh let's see how do i want to do this i gotta move cars around right uh we're gonna move that to the garage there's no space um so that's what the problem is right now so let's take my mazda we're gonna move that to parking it's gonna be disappearing and then what we'll do is we'll come out here and we'll put our charger in on the rack. So what we'll do is we will move it through the garage. And what it'll do is it'll move it off this flat top, right, and into the garage. There we go. Now, where'd the Mazda go, you may ask? Well, the Mazda is in my parking, but it's in Alley 2, and right there it is. So I could put it in the slot wanted to now that slot's empty i can move something into that empty slot if i wanted to that's all right all right um so i did this for a reason i wanted to see if i've got some drum brakes back here because what this mod has also done is it given you the ability to turn down the drum brakes so a couple of things and it does have yes it does so we're going to take the drum the drum off the brake drum off and i'll show you over here we are going to turn this bad boy down. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now that in itself, I mean, some of these things should have come with the game already. I mean, this should have been the stuff that should have come with the game. I should be able to um, turn down a breakdown. Now, honestly, in real life, I should be able to turn it down maybe once maybe twice but i mean if it's a certain percentage right um maybe not so much so where is my brake drum right there's my brake drum right i've got all i've got all these, these parts i've been been messing around with this for a while uh paint shop let's take a look at the paint shop so this over here you can activate right here for the paint shop it says welcome to the enhanced paint shop and chroming please note this is complex feature and it's not 100 percent perfect which is it is not Okay, um, the tire tool and spring tool doesn't always show custom painted colors, so um, beware of that. Uh, switching part between different custom painted versions part may show wrong colors, and you may need to save and reload. So there is some um, issues with it, um, but I mean, we can paint the discs if we wanted to, right? We go up here with the paint target normal, go paint target everything, and we can paint drums or the discs right so you can paint the you know um what i was wanting to do is to paint the drums so you know we could paint the discs the uh paint everything paint everything there we go target everything there you go now it doesn't, um, some of this really, you know, saturation works, the brightness works, right? Um, the hue works. But as far as the custom paint, you know, custom gloss, 
solid metallic pearl matte chrome. Um, none of that actually really works um, as you would think it would. So, like if you went with white and you wanted to go with a uh, uh, chrome, basically, that's, I mean, it should be chrome, right? But it's not. And that's fine. I'm just showing you that you can paint. <laughs> Yahoo. So that is an added feature. Now, also with the seats, we can also paint um, the seats as well. There you go. We've got one painted drum. Let me put the wheel back on here real quick. All right. Um, oh, actually, another added feature of this is that you can paint. We'll just buy one. How's that? You can paint tires, right? The letters or the sidewall, however you want to do it. And we'll do this, this right here. We'll do, uh, we'll do a, uh, a 16 inch or 15 inch. I yeah, will do 16. We'll buy one and we'll take it to the paint shop. Now it looks a little goofy here. So I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so we're going to paint that, but yeah, see, it, it kind of deforms it a little bit, but if you painted, we'll paint everything, right? You can paint it red or whatever color you wanted to, right? So we're going to paint ours red and paint that. Then we'll take it out. We'll throw it on a rim and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So it is a 15 inch, right? Oh, 16. So we're going to go, let's find ourselves a ram and we're going to mount her up. Oh, that's not what it was supposed to look like. Hang on. Okay, let's try this one more time. Um, maybe it was the size of tire. I don't know. What was my deal here? Uh, 16. Probably. It was probably the size of tire. Okay, 16. Let's go with a 225. 35. Let's, let's try that. Let's try that on for size, shall we? Yeah, it was probably a little thin. A little too thin for that. So let's take a look here. There we go, and we'll paint that uh, everything red. Yep. Alright, now with that being said, let's take this back. Here. So yeah, the mod does have some little goofy things with it, um, but I'll show you. Oh, that is still not working right. I swear to you, it worked right earlier. what the hell the deal is with that but it did work earlier i don't know what my problem is probably because i have to do the save and then log out maybe let's do this for a second maybe this is you know maybe the paint colors and all so let's try this there we go that worked i don't know just kind of goofy so you just have to kind of play around with it so there you go so you've got so you've got like the red lettered wheels um with the with the tire, so you can paint the white letters and the white walls as well. You can do that as well. Um. All right. So what else did I want to show you with this? Um, things around the shop, things you could paint. Um. Oh, seats. Okay. So we're gonna take the seat out of this bad boy. Um. We're gonna take you. Out. And we're going to take you over to the paint shop. So this is cool, too. You can also paint the interior parts to the car. Uh, where am I? There we go. All right. So we have, like, a, an option, I believe, with this one. Uh, I'll paint everything or paint one, which paints bottom. Uh, paint two, which paints the top and not the bottom. And let's see. Then you have... Let's go into, go add, let's go find ourselves another seat because this is the seat. I, 
So this is the seat. And because it's set up with the two-tone, it gives you the actual uh, option to do two-tone. So the white area is what you would color. So I'm going to call that yellow. Clean it up. There we go. And then uh, we will take this bad boy back over to my 57. Add the interior. Add the yellow one. Go. <laughs> but yeah, now you have a yellow insert in the seat. Isn't that cool? All right. So, yeah. So, like, the chrome pieces, um, there's not, a, there's a few things that you can paint that are kind of different. Um, I showed you the tires. I showed you the seats. So, if you went in and you wanted to do, like, uh, the filters, um, can i believe let me let me take a look here um you just it just changes so you could paint everything but this changes the whole thing right so the whole thing could be painted different colors um, or you just paint normal and you can change the outside of this now that's for that so if you went in and you tried to do um, let's see, I did a carburetor before. So the carburetor is a whole different animal, right? So if you try to paint the carburetor, if you paint normal, you get nothing, right? You can't, you can't do anything with it. it there's nothing. So you select paint everything. And what happens is you can paint the chrome area of it and everything just changes. But you do, can do, ha you do have some, um, some flexibility with this, but not a whole lot. Um, let's see, what else is it? I think that's about all I think I need to show you on that piece of it. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, so another addition to it. I'm going to go into my inventory, right? So in my inventory, let's say, let's see, I got exhaust. See, I've got these two exhaust valves, right? Right. Um, see these check marks? That means it's in the warehouse. So something uh, there's like, it's in the warehouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So show you what's exactly going on here. Um, I am going to. These two are identical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put. One of them in the warehouse. Right. I'm gonna put one in the warehouse. As soon as I put one in the warehouse, it shows me I've got one in the warehouse, and it's orange. So it's telling me I've got one in the warehouse that's orange, um, in the orange conditions. Much like the license plates, I've got license plates in there, um, but they're both green. So if I went in to the warehouse, warehouse one, yeah, I've got green and I've got an orange DOS pipe. Um, let's say, there we go, um, something else. Let's see. Oh, 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 I gotcha. Inventory. Okay. I'm going to get, uh, two of you and two of those and two of those, right? Okay. So let's go into my, we're going to go to the exhaust, right? We're going to open up the work this, this, uh, we're going to go middle muffler, right? Okay. We needed four of those. Boom. Then open your list back up. It's gone. So it takes it out automatically for you. Uh, rear muffler silver. Two of those, right? Boom. Open your shopping list. Gone. Uh, this break two. Let's go two. I uh, get the two of those. Buy. Open your shopping list, and they are gone. I love that feature because it just takes the, it just takes some of the brain work out of it. It just takes care of the stuff for you. So yeah. So that's how that goes. All right. So I've got the all these miscellaneous parts I just bought. 
I am going to go and I'm going to throw some into the workshop. Here we go. Or the warehouse, I should say. So we'll put uh, a rubber bushing in there. See, it shows me a green um, muffler. Green, right? Higher. Just, just for the giggles of it. Um, bumpers. So they're both 100%. If I put one in there, it's not the same thing. So it's not going to show me up, show up as green. Um, I have section. These are two different. So let's go. I've got a stock one, but the custom one, the tuned one, doesn't give me a green check mark because it's not the same. Middle muffler, boom. I got one in there and there are three. All right. That makes sense. So for the silver, I've got two green ones, right? If I get rid of one, it tells me that I've got another one in there. So that is. Um, so I've got a green one there, and I've also got a yellow one. So if I got care of that, it'll still show me green. All right, so that gives you a little bit of a helping hand when it comes to the warehouse stuff. Um, I don't have parts to do anything with. Most of this, as far as I can tell, hasn't changed too much. So we are pretty good with that. All right, um, so that's all I have to show you inside the shop for right now let's go ahead and jump out of the game we'll go into the config file and i'll show you some of the things you can configure in the config file okay again to get to the file you want to go to your steam folder go to steam apps common car mechanic simulator 2021 and then under mods net up under the qol mod folder net up then you'll see some more files in here. And then what you want to take a look at is the QOL mod config file right there. So open that up. Um, I You can open up a notepad. I've got a notepad plus plus, which is a free download. Um, I'd recommend using that because I do like using that instead. And I'll show you. Um, let me get rid of some of this stuff. These are profiles I've been using. All right. So I don't know how well this is going to come across on the screen, but um, if you look through here, let's see. We'll increase the font here a little bit. There we go. All right. So if you take a look through here, there are some things. This is the latest mod version, game version. Um, as uh, unmarked finished parts, marked body parts, uh, customer select last mounted part. There's a lot of things in here. Like here's your warehouse helper icon inventory and shop list. They're all both equal true. Um, what you can do is equal those back to false and they would not show up in the game. Uh, remove parts from shopping list equals true. This is where if you didn't want to have it and you want to keep your parts in your list, you can mark that as false. Um, uh, mount any bench brake lathe fixed drum brake true if you didn't want that you can make, make it as false um exit game on garage pause menu car editor button on the main menu now we have the car menu car editor menu on the main menu and I'll, we'll show that when we go back into that um so we have some other items in here that you could play around with just to see just what is happening now, if you wanted to turn all of these features off, you can mark them all off or as, as false, and the game would run as the game would run. Um, run without any of this stuff going. Um, but, I mean, this actually gives you some depth to the game. It really does. Um, here we go. Authentic car brand logos and authentic car names. For myself, what I want to do is mark that as false. Why? Because I've got too many cars. Um, I don't want. I don't want any confusion, right? So I'm going to mark both those as false because I just don't want it in the game. I don't like it. Um, I mean, the cars are not true Chevrolets. True, you know, they're the Bolt Reptilia. They're, you know, they're those games. So I, I just kind of stick with that. Um, Load fixtures, parking cars load all on the scene. Um, player license plates on showroom. Uh, 
engine hoist next to engine stand, uh, multiple cars on photo locations. If you don't like that idea, you can make, mark that as false. Uh, enable paint all parts, uh, chroming station next to the paint booth, which is that computer next to the paint booth. Um, search without enter, random events. Random events, I have not come across that yet, but I'm hoping in the next few episodes that we will have some random events running while we are in the midst of doing our Barden Bargains or our Rot to Rad series. Uh, mount extra cars enabled. Right now it's set to five. This is um, really going to be your computer dependent. Okay, going to be really dependent on your computer. If you're running a really slow computer, you may want to just stick with the five. You may want to knock it down to three. Um, max right now is 10. I know some people are out there playing. Um, there's a, there's a lot of pictures I've seen out there with just tons of cars in the parking lot. I would highly, highly advise that you just kind of stick with the five, maybe the 10, and maybe figure out where your computer runs. Because I can tell you on my laptop, five kind of run a little sluggish. So I may have to back that down to four, maybe down into three to keep it going. Um, so there's a couple other things. Um, uh, disable camera head bopping. Add debug option on pause menu. This is um, defaulted to false. What we are going to do is we are going to default this to true because it has some more options in the game that I want to show you. When we save these, um, save this file, we'll go back into it. Uh, let's see. There was another one in here I wanted to highlight on. Um, The dyno window, no blur. So you know how you have the car blurred in the background. It's not blurred anymore. Um, that is, here's your inner on startup. Right here, if you did not want that, make that to false. Um, I think that's about all I have on here right now. So the rest of the stuff down here, uh, the game will change these. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about these. I just kind of leave them as they are. Leave it as is. Now hit save. We'll back out of that and we'll jump back into the game. Also with this mod, what happens is it loads you right back into the profile that you left. Okay. So typically it loads you back into the menu and you choose your profile. This will load you right back into the profile you left. So we are going to go here and we're going to actually take a look real quick at the game menu so we're going to return the menu here from the game menu right there is the car editor all right so from the main menu you can now jump right into the car editor and mess with the config if you wanted to Doing a config and getting it prepped to do the car editor I have in another video. Uh, please take a look and we will. Uh, it'll give you some ideas on how to do the config. And I hope it helps you out. So that would go, we'll dump you right into the car editor. So let's go back into our, my, this is my config testing. And then we're going to go jump back into that profile. And I want to show you some things in. Um, the debug menu. All right, once you hit escape, you have the option right here for a debug menu. So you hit the debug menu, you'll have this little Server window that joined. shows up. Oh, what was that? I have no idea. Anyway, we have a few things here that you can use. Now, m m what I like the most about this, right here, uh, right up here at the top, this is where you can apply a save name. So say um, you've got a profile, you've named it something, now you want to change it. You log into this and you can change uh, config testing uh, to, you know, then apply the save name, right? So it is done. All right, let's hit escape, go to the debug menu. So we have, um, you can hide the menu, toggle the fly cam, spawn in some cars, teleport to different areas. 
Um, you can load Halloween, Christmas, and Easter. All right. If you remember, we had all the uh, great uh, uh, decorations. So I'm going to go ahead and load Christmas. Here you have it. We have Christmas. We have Christmas lights going. Isn't that cool? Um, and we even have a Christmas tree over here. Um, but for me, I'm not even sure how to get out of it because I would go back to here and I say load Christmas again and my Christmas stuff is here. So the only thing I've been able to do is like exit out of the game. And um, what I do is exit. Um, I go accept. And now that I'm back in the game, Christmas lights are gone. That's been the only way I've been able to do that. Um, let's out. So, also in the debug. Server admin joined. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I did not hear it before. Okay, you so you can unlock all your upgrades, unlock all the parking, uh, all the tuning parts, all tuning body parts. Uh, add experience, add barns, um, add money, add scraps. You change your difficulty, you can change your speed. So, now there's a few more things you can do, and this didn't stay in Fig Testing 2 because I didn't save the game, unfortunately, when I bounced out to get rid of the Christmas lights. So there you have it in a nutshell, um, the quality of life mod. Now, I will ask that you guys do one thing before you go messing with your files, and that is to save your game files, back them up somewhere before you even start this. Now, this should be a very seamless way of adding this mod. It should be. Not all computers are created equal, and not all people are um, have are savvy enough with some of these files and sometimes they get misplaced. Uh, I understand that. Um, if you follow the directions and you follow on with it with this tutorial, you should be great. However, like I said, I would always back up your files before you do anything. Now, let's say you wanted to get rid of the melon loader altogether. Um, what you can do is go back into the Nexus mods, go into the melon loader download, and then um, when you find your file again, you'll see a little box underneath it that says reinstall or uninstall. And then from there, you can uninstall that melon loader, which will remove that from the front end of the game. That way the game will start normally instead of running through melon loader. Right. So let me know uh, some of the features you like of the mod. Um, there is one other I wanted to show before I... Huggle like him. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Toggle fly cam. Hang on. Toggle fly cam again. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I am up and up and away. But yeah, this will give you some beautiful, beautiful shots. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it did you uh, does you well. I hope you're able to download and get this mod installed. It will change the game for you drastically. So this is Hers Quasar saying thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon in my series. Until then, I am out.